How are you with it doing? It's Jake the Dog here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the best legendary commanders to invest your golden heads into as a free to play player in Rise of Kingdoms. I will even discuss which commanders you should avoid if you're a free to play or mid spender. So without further ado, let's get started. The first group of commanders I would like to discuss are gold key commanders. If you wish to yield as many gold heads as you can from gold key commanders, Check out my gold key testing video in the card up ahead, which I discovered the best way of opening gold keys to expertise your gold key commanders as a free to play player. This means as a free to play player, you should never use a single gold head on any gold key commanders. The following commanders are the best free to play gold key commanders and should be the only exception. First is Charles Martel. Being usable at 5511 and having great synergy with Alex or Harold, even YSG, he is still viable in Season Conquest, on the field, and as a garrison for your city, which makes him easily the best gold key commander for free to play as he has great counter attack damage. The next best commander from the keys is Mephi. At 5511, his secondary skill gives him great synergy with any fast skill commanders like XY and YSG. For Season of Conquest, I advise him to be expertise as you can fully utilize his troop capacity bonus as if you can bring more troops as a free to play, you can do superior damage. Lastly, there was Moan. She is last here as I don't think all free to play should use her, but if you get her to 5511 slash expertise and want to support your ally, she's a great addition to the if you wish to use the gold heads on any three of these commanders, my recommendation is that you should only use your gold heads if you are close to 5511 or expertise, but there is no reason you should invest into these commanders unless you desperately need them for war. Now that is out of the way, let's get in the most important part of this video. You as a free to play player need to decide which troop types you want to specialize in, whether that's infantry, cavalry, or archers. In the end game, you can always pursue additional march types, but it's most wise to focus on a troop type due to the season of conquest KVK tech limitations. First troop type is infantry. First commander you have to expertise is Alex the Great. He is great, everyone knows it. All his skills apply to the field, let's move on. YSG is an option too. I recommend YSG for all free to play as you can use him with Alex until you get better marches. But if you want to be infantry main, I would hold off on getting YSG. I would just get Richard to 5511 minimum or max him for PvE or PvP pre Season of Conquest. In return, you can save Goldhead for better infantry primary investments down the line. After Alex, I would go for Guan. Whether you want to only make him 5155 to save the gold heads or expertise him, that's on you. He's very excellent on the field in Season of Conquest as his primary silences. AoE and his third skill gives you a march speed bonus. At the same time as Guan being introduced, there will be Leonidas. Leonidas is great to go for if you are able to secure rank in MGE or intend to experience Leonidas and Guan after unlocking them. For the meantime, Leonidas should be avoided for now until your Guan needs a second. Instead, you should conserve your gold heads and wait for Harold. Alex and Harold, in my opinion, is the best free to play infantry march, but you can tell me what you think in the comments down below. Whenever I'm swarmed of Alex and Harold, if I have solid gear and tech, I will have positive traits. It makes it easy to reach my kill requirements for KVK with minimum effort. After Harold, you've then given a decision to either go to Leonidas if you haven't already, Chioak, or Pakal. Although Alex and Harold are the best in my mind, via reports I've seen Alex Chio is the best dueling combo for infantry. That simply makes Chio the most versatile and best infantry commander. If you wish to be the counter attack god and be a true tank like you want with infantry, I would go with Pakao to, to pale with Harold. The last infantry commanders I didn't talk about are Zenobia and Constantine. With Constantine, you can invest into him till he gets to 5511, then invest into him when Card King comes around to use him for Sunset King. Besides that, they are not worth it as I will get into this point just so no one makes the same mistake. As a free to play player, do not invest in the Garrison commanders. Zenobia, YSS, Theo, and even Constantine as there is no reason you as a free to play player should be taking rallies or garrisoning flag. 
things. I understand you may feel like, you don't know if my kingdom might need me to garrison, or what if there's a chance my city's rallied? I once felt the same way, but that's what the peace shield is for. If you are needed for a garrison, then you're already in a losing position. And, and I know, I know, I get it. There are lots of great rally and garrison commanders like Gilgamesh, Chandra, and Amanato that can be used on the field as well. All commanders I believe are worth investing into, I will address. If avoided, scold me in the comments. Anyways, the next troop type is cavalry. As stated previously, previously, YSG is an option as well as the best choice. You can use him in the early game as you preserve heads for the cavalry commanders you want to be released. The first commander that will be released for you is Saladin. You can get him to 5551 and utilize him in Season of Conquest with YSG or William. I talked about him already in a previous video, so I won't bore you here. If you don't want to use a 5551 commander, you can skip Saladin too. If you skip or get Saladin, I would also skip Attila Decada and say for William 5551 or Expertise. William has AoE, gives March Speed, and buffs. You can save even longer for the next set of commanders just around the corner if you wish to maximize your damage. These commanders are XY and Nevsky. XY is a Genghis Khan debuffer with AoE, Lip Khan. And Nevsky is the newest Cav commander and is the best commander in the game right now. He debuffs, has speed, and has skill damage buffs, which allows him to have tons of versatility. If you have the patience to save your gold heads as a free to play player, I believe the best march right now is XY Nevsky. If you already expertise William, you are in luck because the second best march is Nevsky William. At this point, you can finish your arsenal of cavalry commanders if you wish, like commanders I already spoke on or commanders for XY if you do not have Methmid expertise after you get Nevsky William as a combo. Honda is a very great secondary to XY. A solid commander overall and at least deserves a mention in this video as he has AoE, march speed, and troop capacity bonus. Him being leadership also makes him extremely versatile, but the choice on what to do next here is up to you. Now, that takes us on to the last troop type, Archers. Now, YSG should be your first commander you should invest in, no matter what. After YSG, Tameos is a fun choice if you wish to be supportive, as she debuffs the enemy with a nice poison, but as a free-to-play player, I do not recommend her, as commanders around the corner for Archers will be much better. First, we will have Artemisia and Ramses. If you are impatient, I would recommend Artemisia as she is viable in Season of Conquest, Garrison, and is pretty tanky for an Archer March. Ramses is a wise choice as well if you can expertise pre-Season of Conquest, as that is the time healing is meta in open field, but in my opinion, from my experience with her, I believe it is smarter to just wait out instead of going after either one of these commandos if you are free to play. The next Ultra Commanders to release are Silas and Nebu. If you went with Ramses, Silas is the best pair with him in Season of Conquest. If you went with Artemisia or Saved, you will want to expertise Nebu. He has AoE speed, a debuff, and has perfect synergy with YSG, a commander you should have expertise already if you are going after Archers. Nebu and YSG are also great together in Season of Conquest to this day. After these commanders, a Monitor will be released, and at this point, you'll want to expertise a Monitor and then Artemisia if you haven't already, as they are perfect synergy. A Monitor expertise makes her immune to silence, which makes Artemisia even more of a better team. Then, you can go for Ramses and Cyrus or expand to other troop types. There's also one forbidden category I didn't go over, and that is leadership. Mixed troop commanders. As I said in the Cav part, Honda is the best leadership free to play commander as he's extremely versatile. The next best one is Trajan as he is great for canyon and surprise support buffs. Now, you do not have to choose one troop type, you can always interchange. This is just what I believe is the best order of investing into legendary commanders as a free to play player in the most logical way possible, and that based off of the mindset of focusing on a single troop type but this list can easily be interchanged via categories and opinions get alex for an infantry march get sound and then for 5511 to have a cav march this is all up to discussion i would love to hear feedback from the community 
or if you have any type of guide videos you would like to see instead let me know in the comments down below anyways if you enjoyed this free to play guide video please consider liking this video subscribing and putting on post notifications so you can always stay tuned it helps set my content out more in the YouTube algorithm, and it means the world to me. Anyways, leaving at that, I hope that all you wonderful people have a good woofing day. Bye bye. Baking pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Baking pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes.